So I got a question the other day asking me what I would eat if I had cancer. I wrote down a bunch of notes and a bunch of things to think about if you ever get that diagnosis. So I'm not giving you medical advice. I don't want you dead. This is just my opinion on what I would do. And the first thing I would do is ignore the diagnosis. That's just me. If a doctor actually told me, oh, you have lung cancer. It's like, okay, thank you. See you later. The scariest thing is getting that and hearing that. Oh my God, because you have heard so many people have died from cancer. Immediately you go into this panic mode and like, oh my God, I'm going to die. And the doctor's likely going to tell you six months, maybe you have two years. Sorry about that. Get your affairs in order. I'll have an affair with your wife. So that's just my opinion. I've seen way too many stories where it's the fear that kills you. And it's the treatment that the doctors give you that kills you. If you just didn't even know about it, you'd probably live way longer. I know there's cases of people getting chemo and whatever, they get better, good for you. I would never take that route. Radiation is just pure poison. It kills cancer cells and your good cells. And it's like, who's gonna survive? Who's gonna last longer? We're all getting killed on the battlefield. And it's like, will you have enough good guys left over to rebuild your life? And you have no hair left and you're throwing up for two months straight. That's not a life I want to live in life. If you have a tumor, you cut it out, spreading everywhere. That's what happened to my fiance's mom. She had a huge tumor, they cut it off. And it's like, okay, we're good, we cured it. Did ya? It came back and she's dead now. Now just because I can't even heal a mild case of pink eye doesn't mean I couldn't heal cancer. So you take my advice. I'm the guru here, not you. It's annoying. The acne is harder to heal than cancer, but I do believe it's one of the easier things to heal. That's just what I've heard from a lot of respected doctors and naturopaths. They're like, this is not a big deal. Like you go on the right diet, you kill off some cells and like you fast a little bit here and there. But whatever, say I was diagnosed with colon cancer cause I've had ulcerative colitis. I get the odd cramp that could be colon cancer. So, okay, I get that diagnosis. What I would do personally you know the plants, like pretty much every single one has an anti-cancer component to it. I would focus on exactly what I'm doing right now is just the dark leafy greens, nuts and seeds. I'd probably add in like all the onions and mushrooms. Like these are super anti-cancer foods. So you're just adding in the plant life a bit of fruit. I just don't seem to do well with a lot of it. But if that didn't go well, I'm eating all these big salads with onions and garlic. I would consider like a grape fast. If that's not doing it, it's like, ah, oh, this is not, I'm going full Dr. Morris, all the herbs, grapes, nothing but grapes, melt the teeth away, and then use the teeth to dig out the cancerous tumors of my colon. You swallow the teeth, they go to work. It's like an exfoliation for your diseased colon. That's what I would do. But especially all those culinary herbs, your oreganos and the basil and the dill, those are like super potent, powerful. So you're just eating salads. I'd be considering fasting, but in a cancerous body, I think you're like getting depleted. You gotta be careful with the fasting. I have no doubt that fasting could fix it, but it's like, yes, you will starve out some cancer cells, but you'll also starve out your healthy cells. And will you have enough left to rebuild and enough strength and vitality? You just, you can get too weak on a fast. Some people, should not do it. The whole strategy for healing cancer for me would be to detoxify the body because I know I've been poisoned by something. So get the toxins out, but also strengthen and rebuild with the mineral dense vegetables and the fats, the protein gains from plant-based sources. It's not like a huge mystery though. It's funny if you ever like Google how to heal cancer, it's gonna be like, oh, one day maybe we'll get it. It's like, it's been done so many times. It's not some mystery, it's just, We've been poisoned quite from many different areas, diet, air, water, and you just got to get some of that stuff out and you'll function again. It's very simple. I'm over here now. Oh uh, yeah. So there's really two theories when it comes to cancer, either sugar feeds cancer and you starve it out by going keto, plant-based keto, or that's a lie 
and you just cleanse and detox with fruits and vegetables. Both are good, but you can also cleanse and detox without fruit by fasting and eating lots of vegetables, even the nuts, yogurts, those are good. Not dairy yogurts, but if it's me, I'm getting my diet dialed in, I'm fasting sometimes, I'm positive thinking, I'm laughing, I'm watching comedy shows, I'm watching stuff like The Secret, little documentaries to know that you are the one creating it. You ask yourself, why? Why did I create this? And ask God up there, say, hey, what's your opinion? Do you have any advice? Sometimes he answers, sometimes he tricks you with the wrong answer. It's fun to discern. It's fun. It's a game. Play the game. What else are you going to do? You have cancer. You're about to die. Get real with your life. So once my diet's in, I'm positive thinking, I'm meditating, I'm sleeping 90 hours a day. You start bringing in some other hippie stuff that might help you or might not at all. Like acupuncture probably would help. Could it heal it on its own? maybe just acupuncture i've seen miracles happen so you get some acupuncture got your good diet baking soda i've heard have a little swig of that in the morning i've heard guys going to jail because they've healed people of cancer with baking soda so it's like i don't know it probably works the apricot seeds you've heard of those there's a guy in jail right now still for promoting that oh man our world is not right infrared saunas you're helping sweating out you just attack it from all angles you're wearing linen now linen has that 5,000 frequency it's healing to the body i got a couple of shirts i tell you i felt something <laughs> i put it on i was like this just feels right wow i got a couple linen towels too i don't even know why i'm just gonna like lay there naked with a towel over me i'm gonna heal so fast you're not even gonna believe it I would also be doing what I'm doing right now, which is just getting out in nature. And preferably you take your shoes off and you're grounded on the earth. Why aren't I doing that? There's a whole bunch of kids. <laughs> there, my right foot is now on the ground. I'm healing so fast that I can't even understand how fast it's happening. That was so distracting. All these kids just showed up out of nowhere. It was like a school trip or something couldn't focus on the damn thing so yeah if you ever get that diagnosis it doesn't have to be cancer but any illness you have to just look at your life as a whole and ask yourself like what caused that is it my negative emotions is it emfs did a smart meter just get installed in my home is it my diet am i an alcoholic do i smoke do i smoke crack you have to ask yourself all these questions you'll find the answer ask the big man up there we're down there where that guy down there don't ask him for too much i tell you he he asked for favors in return yes this is as uncomfortable as it looks i thought it, it looked like i could lean on it or something but whatever i'm not the one with cancer you are so just thumb the video up how you doing just want to make oh apparently you're allowed to thumb them down the reason you're doing it is because you were just diagnosed with thumb rabies. It's because you scroll on your smartphone. There's nothing smart about them. Get off the damn thing. Don't hold it near your body. I have mine on a tripod if I ever have to use it. Touch it and then I'm holding away. Get the earpiece. Not the Bluetooth ones. That's why you have cancer. I'm going to leave. The cinema was ours. Subscribe for more videos and I'll see you in the next one. Leave your tips down below how you would heal cancer. And I'll delete your comment because it's bad advice. <laughs>